Hello buddies. This is a Henry Intelligent uh, block machine manufacturer. And I would like to show you our sample showroom of the, uh, of the soil interlocking bricks. The soil interlocking bricks. And some of them are the logo bricks. And uh, some ones are the hydroform bricks. So we took plenty of the orders from the all over the world customer. They produce different types of the bricks. So you can see the logo bricks, the logo curves, the zigzag paving, the hydro form, and this one is also logo bricks. And this one is uh, this, this. Okay. And this one is produced by by the how to say the concrete blocks, concrete material. And over here is produced by the the soil, the soil material. This one like the hydro form, hydro form bricks. And this one is curves, curves uh, you know the bricks, the logo bricks. And this one zigzag paving bricks. And uh, solid bricks, solid bricks. And this one is also uh, interlocking, interlocking. And this one is the hottest, hottest blocks. This one the round bricks, round corner bricks for building uh, how to see the water, water well. This one for the garden, for the garden wall. For the garden wall. And this particular model is called HR2-25, the soil interlocking brick machine. And just like what you watch now, this one is a regular design. But this one, but this one is an improved model, updated from this, this model. You can see the the whole machine body is more stronger. The weights and like the frame of the bottom frame here, see is a little bigger. It's a little more stronger, solid, uh, rather than this one. So it, it can supply to you, you know, the five tons. The, uh, no, no, the 50, 50 tons for the compression. And this one, is updated uh, from this particular model but you know it's it improved uh, by the tires because sometimes uh, our customer require us to, to, to they wish to uh, drive the machine with a vehicle to pull the machine from the one side to another location for the production You can see now this uh, the small um, the small menu soil interlocking brick machine can be powered by the electric motor electric motor <coughs> the electric motor we take the user is the go it's gold, um, how to say, the famous brand electric motor in China. So, I interview the interview, the wire is the complete um, copper. You know, sometimes your uh, electric motor is made by the mixture with uh, aluminum and uh, copper together. That one is. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's not so good quality. And over here, maybe some people, um, 
we all complain sometimes it's broken or but this one is made by Nilo. And at the time we deliver your machine, normally we will give you uh, 10 pieces for the spare parts. So in case it's, uh, it's get broken down, you can exchange a new one by yourself. Here's the pump. The brand is Junda. The brand is Junda, Junda Hydraulic. And the volume of the hydraulic oil flowing is 10 mil. It's 10 mil per minute. And the pressure can be up to be 20 ampere. 20 ampere. And here is the battery. The battery is for supply the power to the starter. To the starter. And like this model, is uh, what I explained to you, it's uh, improved and enlarged model. All of the parts you can see, the thickness of the iron is more strong. Let me open it. And also, we designed an electric control box for you to use the machine more easily. And like the volume button, you can put on to a menu. So, touch each time. And after you turn it to be the semi-automatic, that means you touch, uh, how to say, the touch the one, one recycle, uh, the switch on. So the machine will be processing the production of the bricks by itself. Here's the meter for the hydraulic oil is remaining in, in the tank. In the tank. So you have to uh, you have to remember to fill the hydraulic oil up to be here. Up to be here. And you know why we design uh, sensors up to here? It's to control the height. So, and before some customer and uh, worry, you know, each time he produced, uh, for example, the brick's height is uh, 100 millimeter. But maybe next time they produce the bricks, <coughs> the bricks, bricks with uh, 103, 103 millimeter. So each time sir, the height of the bricks is different. So the times you try to build in a wall, you build in a wall, maybe here, the two bricks uh, height is, uh, is different, it's not the same. So it's not easy uh, to, to make the walls. So that's why we design this sensor. So each times the, the machine, you know, to go down, to go down and compress the bricks. You see, after this um, iron plate touch here, it will, you know, uh, after, you know, while this uh, iron plate touch here, so the sensor will keep, turn off the power, turn off the power. So the bricks, you know, the bricks height inside of the motor box will be get the same, same location for the each times. So you understand. It's our new design. This model with the with the tires.
They are another two. They are another two machine. There are another two machines together. And here is the mixer. Here is the mixer. It parked. Uh, it's parked well for ship for delivery. And also is the mixer. And here is the tires for the trolley. Then it will be provided to you for the transport of the blocks out from the machine. Here's the mixer. Here's this machine. And the screw will be rolling. No, the screen will be rolling. So all of the finished uh, the products of the soil will be dropped down from this size. Well, from this size. And over here is uh, is for the conveyor. It's for the conveyor. All of the parts here is for the conveyor. It's for the conveyor machine. All of these. It's for the conveyor machine. The conveyor belt. The conveyor belt. Here is uh, the soil screen. The soil screen. One, two, three. Yeah.